So this we completed our theory. So um, we could start working with shapes and let's ha start having some fun. So let's pick shape. Pick a um, thin line square and we'll make a a box. First, I'll teach you about um, transformation. So let's um, hold down Shift and make a border. Okay, I'm going to click on Control T, which is free transform, and I can now I can resize it the way I want it. Or if I hold down Shift again, it will keep square, just like I showed you before. Alt goes from the middle point. Still stays the same. Also, when I'm in this Control T um, free transform mode, I can click right click inside and I have more options in here. We have all these options also if we wanted if we would go to edit, transform and this is all the options also. So I'm going to use the right click in here because it's f quicker. And um, so scale it's quite it's quite logical what it does rotate also if we hold down shift key while we rotate it um it snaps in um, 15 degrees angles so that's quite useful for creating some graphics right click again skew that does something like this. Just click and drag. Or if you wanted to drag this point, this makes it a little like a perspective to the farther and stuff. Okay. Right click. I'm going to I'm going to hit escape to discard this transformation and do control T again and right click to uh, choose next distort this is how what we are going to use to create our box so I'm going to drag and you can fold down like this or open like this so this is quite a nice function too hitting escape and control T right click and uh, let's try a perspective which is quite logical too going to the like looking down from somewhere or also we can do this way okay so you can play with all this so we would know what it does my mistake we can Okay, Control T again, and right click, and warp. Let's let's do that, that some other time. We'll do um, rotate 180 degrees, which is quite logical. But because it's square, you can't see it. Um, flip horizontal, vertical, same. You wouldn't use this. You'll see this on the. Let's re distort it a little bit. I will start it, hit enter and do control T again we can try those now so we can rotate I mean we can do 90 degrees we can flip horizontal flip vertical okay so I'm going to delete this dead layer and make a new one and let's make our box I will um, turn on our grid, grid with control apostrophe, we'll turn on grid and um, holding down shift we will make a border uh, we'll do um, we'll click on V or uh, we could click on this little button to move around, I'll click on V which will choose it also I'll place it somewhere here. Okay. Now, um, if we are in this uh, move mode, 
we can hold down Alt, which will copy this. Um, now if we drag, if we, if we click and drag, we have a copy of this um, thing we are dragging around. If we hold down Shift also, while we holding Alt, we can go with in the straight lines. So I'm going to go up with straight line right now. And I'm gonna do Control T in here and right click, distort, and I'm going to fold this right about here. Enter, okay. Now I'm gonna do Alt and Shift and drag it down to make the bottom layer. Okay, now let's choose our original one, layer one, and again Alt and Shift to go to the right until it snaps Control T and right click to choose distort fold it back in here till it snaps enter Alt and Shift drag to the left side and also we need to make the back side which will again choose the uh, original layer Alt and not shift this time, we'll just actually we can hold shift it will also go in the 45 degrees and this is our box let's save this box into a smart we'll click on the first layer and the last layer with a shift to, click them all, to um, highlight them all right click in here and uh, group them into a new smart object why we did that into uh, we just didn't just group them or we didn't just uh, merge them I will uh, explain it in the next tutorial